local elected and appointed officials play many important roles in supporting and leading their communities, from overseeing the day-to-day -day operations of the local government to setting budgets for critical community services. These senior officials also play a vital role in preparing for, responding to, and recovering from disasters. Over the past decade, a federal emergency has been declared in every state at least once. The need for effective emergency management leadership is everywhere. In many ways, senior officials can make or break the success of disaster operations. Their actions can reduce impacts and enhance positive outcomes for their residents or contribute to inefficiencies and losses that greatly impact their community. Disaster response and recovery are more effective when senior officials are familiar with emergency management processes and have established relationships with their community's emergency managers. For example, working with the emergency manager to establish mutual aid agreements to fill potential resource gaps can accelerate and enhance response efforts. For this reason, it is critical that senior officials understand their potential role in disaster preparedness and actively engage with emergency management before, during, and after disasters. Senior officials' roles can look quite different before, during, and after disasters. So let's explore further. Senior officials' actions and decisions before disaster strikes play a critical role in the community's preparedness and resilience. While it may be difficult to focus on potential disasters during blue sky days, it is absolutely vital. Senior officials have many more opportunities for saving lives and protecting property before disaster strikes. To begin with, senior officials can learn about the threats and hazards that may impact their community, such as floods, storms, earthquakes, and wildfires, as well as less predictable incidents like active shooters, technological hazards, extended power outages, or cyber incidents. Meeting regularly with the community emergency manager is a great way to learn about a potential incident's impact on people, infrastructure, and the economy, and to stay informed of key risks. It is also important for senior officials to understand the demographic composition within their communities, such as historically underserved populations, tourist populations, individuals with disabilities, and others with access and functional needs since they may require additional assistance during a disaster. Positioning and allocating necessary resources before an incident can accelerate support to these populations and reduce disaster impacts. Other important steps senior officials can take before disaster strikes include working with the emergency manager to establish preparedness priorities and encourage all government agency heads, academic and nonprofit organizations, and business leaders to coordinate and collaborate on the jurisdiction's mitigation, response, and recovery planning efforts. Championing community risk reduction by adopting and implementing mitigation and climate adaptation strategies. Examples include implementing hazard-resistant building codes and land use planning that contribute to the resilience of the community. Encouraging individuals, families, and businesses to develop emergency plans and be self-sufficient in the immediate aftermath of a disaster. Participating personally in emergency and disaster preparedness exercises to demonstrate support and practice executing legal and leadership responsibilities. Exercises also build familiarity with emergency management plans and staff. Preparing for possible media interviews by working with the public information officer to build relationships with traditional and social media outlets and develop coordinated community messaging and understanding how continuity of essential private sector services and government operations will be maintained during disasters to minimize casualties and impacts. When a disaster strikes, senior officials should carry out the plans the emergency management agencies and whole community partners have built. Some priority actions to take during response include becoming informed quickly and staying in close touch with the emergency manager, Establishing a regular meeting schedule can help. Trusting and empowering emergency management officials. 
This may include obtaining assistance from other agencies, the private sector, or neighboring jurisdictions, declaring a state of emergency, issuing emergency orders, and assuring compliance with proper fiscal procedures. Communicating quickly, clearly, and effectively to the whole community and working with the public information officer and other partners to ensure coordinated and accessible communication. After a disaster, recovery efforts can continue for months or even years. Some priority actions for senior officials after a disaster include identifying opportunities to build more resilient communities through improved planning and smart infrastructure investments, including mitigation projects and climate adaptation strategies that reduce risk of future events. Understanding proper use of the financial and in-kind assistance programs available that will help both community members and the government. Leveraging the expertise and resources of various departments and partner organizations. Clearly communicating with community members and setting realistic expectations to help instill trust and confidence during the recovery process. And ensuring all codes and regulations are enforced during the recovery process to enhance resilience. Senior officials play an essential role in strengthening community resilience and are paramount to helping their community mitigate, plan for, respond to, and recover from disasters. FEMA's Local Elected and Appointed Officials Guide, Roles and Responsibilities in Emergency Management, provides additional guidance, checklists, and resources to help senior officials understand, prepare for, and execute their leadership responsibilities. By understanding their vital role, senior officials can help save lives and protect property before, during, and after a disaster.